All right, y'all. Let's look at the damage. This was a major, major friggin' dig out, boy. Did you hear the tires screaming? I want to show y'all one thing that everybody should have in their uh, bug out bag or whatever. And that's this right here. And I ain't talking about one of them cheap ones from Walmart either. I'm talking about this bad boy here is the kind the troops used in Vietnam in World War II and it collapses it unscrews and it folds over but it just don't turn into a freaking folding card but you can chop vines with it you can dig with it And you can hoe with it. And it is a one durable piece of equipment. And it's a good little tool used for a weapon too. Go to your uh, Army Navy surplus store and get you one of these. It's well worth it. Well worth it. Well worth it. Because if it wasn't for that, my truck would have been stuck to the frame. It would have been sunk down to the frame and it would have taken me an extra two hours to dig this out. My wife says, why don't you call the boys, you know, my uh, cousin-in-laws, why don't you call the boys to come help you out? But man, I'd never freaking hear it. They would never let me live that down. I would hear that crap till the day I died. Hey, you remember when you got stuck? Yeah, you stupid fool. What were you trying to do? Go through that swamp. And I just told her, I said, I'm going to do it on my own. I ain't going to hear it from them. I ain't going to listen to that crap. I can do it myself. And I dang sure did. This is a pretty little area. I'm going to make me a road going through here, but I'm going to do a little bit different because I drove around and as you can see my truck's over there now. I can get through them woods there onto a logging road which goes on up around and get on the road and get to my house. So uh, I just need to put me some slats out here, maybe get all the... Uh, crates and stuff that I can find, throw them down here, dig out, put them down in there, and uh, make me a road, make me a little road, I'll come in here with a few bags of quick crete and fill up two ruts, you know, there's all kinds of ways to do it. Now. I don't know if this is true or not, but this is said to be a little Indian mound right there. I don't know whether it's true or not. Ain't nobody messed with it. Ain't nobody never disturbed it. I dang sure would never disturb it. No. Nope. I wouldn't want nobody messing with my grave, my bones. Well, it really wouldn't matter, but... Still, I wouldn't want to do that and desecrate an Indian burial mound. But here's this other little pond over here. This is the deeper one of the two. And this is the one that has the cypress, cypress trees 
growing in it. See the big old cypress trees? Some of the few cypress trees in Florida. And cypress trees are uh, waterproof. Well, not maybe not waterproof, but you can use them for uh, weather. Oh, check out the freaking deer tracks, man. Man, this place is loaded with deer tracks. There goes a frog. There must be deer bedding down down here and stuff. But, uh, yeah, see, here's some little cypress trees. And they talk about a cypress knee, if I can show you one. But um, they're kind of like a pine tree. Well, I'll tell you what. These daggum German jack boots are dang sure good boots. I've had these for years. Still good boots. But yeah, the cypress trees. This big old tall tree. Kinda like a pine tree. It's got uh needles. Green year round. There's an old vulture flying. A buzzard or something. If I can get around here without falling down, I wanted to show you a cypress knee, but it doesn't look like I can find one right yet. But there is the cypress tree. Long, tall, straight, beautiful trees, beautiful trees. Anyway, hope everybody's well. God bless, good luck to us all. Never give up your guns or your powers of free speech and free thought. It's the only thing we have left stand between us and total tyranny, y'all. We gotta save the beauty of this world, this land, for our children and their children. Can't let it be taken over by jack booted thugs. <laughs> no, I like the jack boots person. Holy crap, look at that deer track. Man, that's huge. That is a big deer track, y'all. Anyway, um, this is way too long. I hope everyone's having a good day and doing well. And um, like I say, don't never, never let anybody tell you you can't, because you can. I've always been told it's better to ask forgiveness than to uh, not be able to do something you really want to do. That's a good thing to do. You know, like mowing somebody's lawn. If they didn't want you to do it, you say, Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that, you know, you're just going to be upset. But who knows? Those are just some strange things. I've always thought I had real bad depression for a while in my life one time. And. My dad told me, he said, son, you need to start helping people. You need to forget about yourself and go help others. And you know what? I did. 
and I snapped out of that depression like nothing. Quit took quit taking all that antidepressant crap and all that kind of stuff. Felt good about myself. Was helping others. Made a difference in other people's lives. Seen the good that I was doing and helping others. And man, <laughs> that was the best anti uh, you know antidepressant you can ever get by helping others. I love y'all. Y'all are the best subs that anybody could ever wish for. Best friends on YouTube that anybody could ever have. I hope maybe one day I might be able to meet all y'all. That would be so cool. Because I sure would like to do that. I like your comments. And things you say. This is Chatty Dad 1, over and out.